afternoon and welcome to Rated PG. This is Globe Parental Guidance's online launch. I'm Rana Kapili Bonifacio. I'm the parenting editor. I'm also a mother of three. And I'm this afternoon's host and moderator. Globe Parental Guidance is an honest and authentic space for today's Filipino parents to learn, share, laugh about, and enjoy the realities of parenting. We bring you tips, expert advice, confessions, and ideas through an accepting community of fellow parents who are helping each other to be the best parent they can be. And today, three parents are joining us and they're going to be sharing their own confessions, especially how they're surviving parenting in this quarantine. So first is Bianca Gonzalez. You know her as a TV host. And she's also, of course, the creator of Hashtag Paano ba to? Co-founder of She Talks Asia and wife of JC and mother of Lucia and Carmen. Our second parent joining us is uh, Jim Bacaro. He is an entrepreneur, a musician, and also a podcast creator. They share that she shares this with his wife, Sab, of course. Uh, Jim is uh, the man behind Linya Linya and Isabel's salads. And Sab and he and Sab, of course, share um, not just the podcast and the band together, but uh, their sons, Pancho, who's two and a half, and Vito, who's turning one in a couple of months, I think. So please welcome with me, Bianca, Jim, and Sab. Hi. Hi. Hi, Rona. Hi, Bianca. Hi, Rona. Hi, Jim and Sab. Hi. Hi to everyone watching. Oh, yeah. Hi. Hi to everyone. <laughs> yes. Um, thank you for tuning in this afternoon. Of course, if you're watching from your home, it's it's the long weekend. Yay! Yay! May get on pala. Weekend. Yeah. Long weekend. <laughs> it's a really long weekend. Hasn't it been yeah. a long staying at home for us? But uh, we hope that we're kicking off your um, long weekend with our little um, online launch here at Rated PG. And this week, uh, we've read so many of your confessions. Thank you so much for being real and sending with us all of your um, stories. We at Parent Globe Parental Guidance and even Bianca Jim and Sab have enjoyed reading these confessions. Now, we've read stuff like accidentally dropping the phone on the baby while nursing the baby or um, a dad who's cried in the middle of a, the lingerie section of a department store because he realized that he was buying uh, something for his little girl uh, who's probably not so literal anymore. So, it's been so touching to uh, no, to, to read those and for me, no, it's been, I felt so normal as I saw all these confessions coming in of like, oh, okay, hindi lang pala ako yung nagkakamali. Hindi lang pala ako yung um, trying to figure it out as we go along. And so, this afternoon, we're gonna have a couple more confessions because we seem to not be able to get enough. And we're asking, of course, Jim, Sab, and Bianca to raise their hand. Kasha ba? Yeah, to raise their hand. Um, if this has been you, if, if you experience this, kung relate kayo, ganyan, hashtag relate, or who got, um, yeah, that's what we're doing this afternoon. So, my very first one is, because nga, no, we've been in quarantine for uh, over five months. We've been home over five months. So, my kids have crashed my video Zoom meeting or my live stream. Wow! No? How? How do you that's, do that? How? That's locked. <laughs> well, Are there ever banging things more? Pag, well, pag may live, ako pag may live stream, locked yan. Audio. Pero um, ikaw, ikaw pag may meetings ka. Yeah, parang I think when Sab does live stream. I really like, tell everyone, okay oh, guys. Ba, and then I'm just I, asking you for one R. <laughs> and if I, if I have a meeting, I've learned to use headphones that I have to play music because I'm just listening to a piyak, like so brown na. Yeah. I feel so guilty and stressed. So, yeah. How about you, Bianca? I saw you raised your hand with me. <laughs> yeah, for sure. I think most of my meetings have um, one child or both <laughs> bombing. and But I think kids bombing a meeting as long as it's not a super serious meeting it's always oh diba everyone on the other side same effect as dogs if a dog suddenly um, comes up on the screen oh same same level of uh, <laughs> of happiness of your mga ka meeting but um, I guess same as sad that if it's a live like a proper 
program like where we are now. I'm in a separate room kasi that you have to take a stairs to go to go upstairs to this room. So, pag ganito, uh, my kids have not bombed. But meetings, for sure. For sure. How about you, Rana? Uh, for me, so far, no, I think I've had a live stream where um, my kids have opened the door of the room, of the dedicated live stream room. <laughs> and um, they told me that there was a dirty diaper. So, parang, I was like, uh, what am I gonna do? I can't, I can't just stand up and take it off. <laughs> and then, syempre, your mom brain is like, what? Mga 30 minutes pa yung live. Parang 30 minutes. Wait, you, <laughs> you, couldn't, you couldn't stand up because you weren't wearing pants, were you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna confess to that. <laughs> But um, I was, it was like this, I was moderating, I was hosting, so parang weird if I just laughed or parang went off cam. And then yun, parang I was kind of like calculating, oh, no. siguro he'll be okay naman, no, kung mga 30 minutes pa before I, ano, before oh. I came up, ganyan. But thankfully, um, my husband was like, they went to my husband and then um, he cleaned up my son. But uh, yeah, so it's it's been a wild ride <laughs> trying to do all these live streams and meetings uh, on video and kind of trying not to have your kid come on and just kind of be like, hello. Because they love, right? they love seeing themselves. I don't know if your kid, I have one kid who loves seeing himself on the screen. So he kind of like that. And if you're watching and you have any tips or any hacks that you want to share with us, uh, let us know. Type in the comment box. How do you keep your kids from bombing, <laughs> from from appearing at, uh, at on the screen for your live streams or I mean meetings? I'm sure you also have like meetings with your bosses. So let us know, and we're gonna we're gonna get back to that later on. But um, I think I need to develop a new system to make sure that they don't come in or lock doors like that. <laughs> That's like a really simple solution. <laughs> I didn't figure out. No, because our but kids are think... okay. our kids are babies, pe. So yeah. you know they're really like contained. <laughs> right. That's what I was gonna say. Na baka for your kids, Rona, since they're bigger. Ano na yan? Ka- mom, mom, gaganya na yan sa door. Oh, oh. I can't wait. Joke. <laughs> <laughs> for them to be able to open the door by themselves. <laughs> they. Stop what you're doing. I need you to listen to me. But it's yeah, it's uh it's interesting, it's interesting. Second uh, no, confession that um I wanna run by you and see if this is something that's happened to you. I gave my kids more screen time than usual just so we can get a break from being locked down together 24-7. I know a lot of us have our own rules when it comes to screen time, right? Like uh, I don't know, what's the rule in your home, Jim and Sam? Um well, definitely no, I know, zero percent screen time. Um, zero? Yeah, well, si Sab. <laughs> well, hindi, kasi it's really hard eh, to, ano, to curb pagtanda nila. So right now, as in, as much as possible talaga, like zero. Except, of course, for family calls. Since, mm-hmm. you know, they have no, we have no choice. I mean, I don't want them to forget their grandparents and our family. Pero... Um, see, Jim has a confession about that. Yes. Um, well, you know, lagi ko siyang nahuhuli. <laughs> Hindi naman lagi. Maybe well, like twice. Well, one, when, whenever, let's say, um, let's say I panic, I'm panicking, like, ako lang and the two boys, and I need <laughs> one of them to calm down. I have to play something na lang, and, you know. Um, but recently, it's because nga, it's been, it's the NBA playoffs, so, Sinabi ko kay Sab, sabi ko Sab, uh, it's, always been, it's always been a dream of mine, uh, me and my boys, because I grew up with sisters. intro pa. <laughs> just, just to, just to, ano naman. To, May deck pa siyang pinerset. May pinner booty oo. Oh. Kasi talagang takot na takot ako ipaalam. So sabi ko, uh, Sab, it's always been a dream of mine. Gusto ko, me and the boys are like shouting at the screen and we're watching like, a close game. So, sabi ko, Yeah, sure, the 11 month old can. So, sabi ko, um, <laughs> Let's watch. Can I watch the Laker game with the two boys? I hit last one minute now. And if it's a close game, please let me finish the game. Okay. 
Yeah. Pumayag naman ako. Mike. <laughs> but zero screen. So no screen. Wait, I'm so fascinated. Zero. <laughs> oh, tan, diba? so, Wait, so tan, tan. Yeah. No, because... So you and Sab also don't... I mean, you, Jim and Sab, also don't watch in front of them. No, no. Yeah, that's that's the hard part. That's why we don't get to watch <laughs> anything anymore. No, we do when no when the kids are asleep, asleep. Talaga, bedtime talaga. That's when we watch. Because if you watch, the ba? Because the feeling ko in that they they don't feel like they're missing out because they have they don't know what it's like. No. Yeah. Feeling. I mean, I don't know how long we can keep this up, but. <laughs> At least because we're here right now. I mean, that's the at least talagang natututuka namin. So, what we're trying not to judge anyone who yeah, yeah, differently at all, but we're trying. Please pray for us, <laughs> You do miss my nanny. Oh my god, sorry, sorry. I cut you on like two times. I'm super super sorry. I was just so fascinated that they have zero screen time. Go ahead, please ask your question. No, no, it's okay. I was going to say that YouTube is my nanny. So, um, because it's just the five of us at home. So, my three kids, my husband and I, we don't have extra hands to help us. So, pag nag-date kami sa veranda, um, they get to watch YouTube. <laughs> even my even my little baby. But how about you, Bianca? What What's your screen time policy? I'm like Sab. I'm very strict. But I do allow screen time on weekends. So, weekends, they're allowed to watch... Um, the usual, the Paw Patrol, I mean, what toddler stuff, Paw Patrol, PJ Masks, Peppa Pig, and all these things. But it's my husband who I also catch na binibigyan ng screen time on weekdays. And tumataas hanggang dito yung tilay ko, but kasi, if you wanted it eh. Hey, awkward. So, who's the parent? I always tell him. So, because we have two girls, I I always say, talo si daddy, hindi niya ma-resist. So, oh. Yeah. yeah. Uh, actually, I was gonna ask: Is it diff? I, well, you answered it. Not. It's different for dads and moms. I think when it comes to screen time guilt. Parang for moms, we kind of have this like, pag binigyan ko siya ng extra half hour, bakit hindi na siya mag college? Parang. parang <laughs> oh eh. Di ba? Hindi minsan yung parang feeling na oh my god, ano pa niya di ba? But you know, like first, you know, I guess ako siguro. When I started, like when I just had one kid, parang mas OA. I was much more OA, right, as a mom. But for dads, parang there's way less guilt. Is there? Uh, ako, honestly, like I only found out na that was bad when we had a baby and Sab told me na bawal. So I think I like, it's ah. because moms do a lot of the reading and the research. That's true. That's very, very true. Yeah. <laughs> and then we just pass on the information to the dads or your partners that yeah. I read this. And we can't do this anymore. <laughs> and and ako naman, I strongly agree with that because parang it's like it's like uh, going to class and disagreeing with the professor who prepared <laughs> the seminar or the class, and you're you came in without knowing anything. Tasi ka parang hindi, diba? Like so so <laughs> ako, I've I've gotten <laughs> that I've gotten that look from Sab like multiple times. Na whenever like when I slightly hint like. Uh, ay, hindi ba ang milk something? And then it's always like, really? Um, I mean, are you really doing this? So, okay. Yeah. Kaya meron siyang spiel, Bianca, before he says na manunood kami ng konting NBA. Kasi he has to defend his position. May position paper siya. Yeah. <laughs> so, did mm, any of you give more screen time to your kids this quarantine? Ako, I, I would say I think so. <laughs> For me, ah. <laughs> yeah, you guys did. I know a lot. I know a lot of friends as well. My husband um does that. Uh, it, it, like I like like we all said earlier, but to each his own talaga iba ibang rules, iba ibang um situation. Like I honestly think that if we didn't have um Ates here at home. I always mention them when we have parenting yeah. talks. That I wouldn't be able to work my husband and I if we didn't have our angels here at home. Right. I do believe that if we didn't, I would most probably also for me time or for like work, I'd probably give them a game or a something. Same. For sure. Yeah. I mean, yeah. And just like if you don't <laughs> need to breathe, de ba? Parang 
manood ka muna ng isa pang Peppa Pig. It's okay. <laughs> And then, ito pa yung magtatanong, tapos na yung episode? Baka there's... <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, for me, it's been the same. And if you're watching and you also have um, given your kids more screen time or um, don't want to give your, your kids more screen time, let us know in the comments what your suggestions are for bonding with your kids during this quarantine. Because sometimes, diba, uh, we can get stuck in that rut of just watching and watching and watching. Are you on the screen? And then your kids are on the screen. I think that's something we try try very hard. Try is the operative word. Try to avoid. Now, we're all on different screen. Now, our kids are bigger. They're older. So, we can do a family movie night. So maybe yeah. that's something that um, you guys can do later on, right? Yeah. <laughs> Okay, number three. I spoiled my kids a bit more this quarantine uh, because I feel bad that they've been indoors for most of the year. This can be—I mean, it could be different. It could be a different reason why. But you've given mm. in. Maybe you've given in a little bit more to your kids. Um, has that happened to you, or have you caught yourself, parang trying to make up for the experiences that they don't get to have right now? Like they don't go to, they don't get to go out, they don't get to see all your relatives. What are you guys doing? <laughs> I have, kami, we we have nothing much to compare it to because they're really tiny. <laughs> they're really young, eh. So, parang I, I don't know. Bianca, ikaw. I I I don't believe I've spoiled them more. Um, I always say this also, parang and I'm sure Jim and Sab will agree. Toddlers are just so happy to have their parents home 24/7. So, yep. parang yun na yung spoiling it for them eh. Um, so, I have not felt the need to spoil them more. But I'm sure it's different with older kids like yours. Like 5, 7, 10. Um, yeah. Iba na yung dynamic ng paganyan. Yeah. yeah. Well, for our, like, kami, um, I, I would like to joke that our life is called quarantine. I didn't know it was called quarantine until quarantine happened. Because I've always worked from home. Yeah. And my kids have been homeschooled for the past two years. Oh. So the difference for quarantine is that my husband is here. Oh. Quarantine. You have, you have a fourth child. <laughs> there's there's an, another person here. So um, I, I I observe the same thing actually that with our kids they're so happy that both of us are home. And um, there's somebody ringing the bell in my that, <laughs> and I can't answer them. <laughs> yes, right. Ori ni nagasikaso ng delivery. Oo nga, may mga delivery. Paka, I didn't know. Baka may surprise para sa akin. As I finish. You wanna go check it? Pagsisikahan kami ni Jim at Sab. Ganon talaga. We got you. We got you, Rada. Yeah, sure, sure. I think uh, my husband will okay. take. Hopefully, he's tuned into this live stream. I love can you. Ano, get the, ayan, can you get the doorbell? Because it's been ringing kanina pa. No, but for us, um, our kids are so happy that we're both home um, all the time. It's kind of like when you go on vacation, diba? Like, you're, they're with you um, 24-7. And then when you go back to work, or like for us, when my husband goes back to work, parang they get this, they kind of get separation anxiety or they kind of feel um, I don't know they, they, they're a little bit more emotional mm -hmm. because they miss being together all the time so I also see the the bright side of just kind of being here together all this time but I do know of friends who you know it's parang it's hard to juggle let's say you're always in a meeting if you're working in corporate or things like that or if that's just something that happens to you I guess Bianca you, you mentioned that you're always in a meeting right uh, or like there are more meetings now. Parang they feel bad that there's so many meetings. They're home but they're not really there. So parang they kind of look for um, things to kind of make up for their experiences. For me, um, I've just tried to treat them to their favorite food. Because uh, you can't go out all the time. So we order in and kind of like try to make a celebration out of anything. <laughs> just cause... Uh, they've been stuck at home for for a while, so so that's what I've been trying to do. With have you have you guys celebrated one of your kids' birthdays? Ngayong quarantine. I have. How about you guys? Not yet. 
I'm doing it yun nga, September 16. Oh yeah, first, first birthday. birthday. So, well, nasa stress rin ako ng konti kasi parang I feel like, what should I do? But also as if, I don't know, parang, ano ba? I guess we'll have like nice food. I figure out how to get some balloons just for our sake, really. Right. <laughs> and for the picture. For yeah, the for the picture on the first. Yeah. Wait, you mean to say this because you did have a bigger celebration for Pancho's first? Yes. Oh, yeah. So, like, parang, not, no, 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 just, like, oh. Yeah, and siguro kasi it's really like, you know, really want to celebrate the first year, di ba? It's, it's, a, it's really a milestone. Hindi naman sa magkakaingitan, not, not that at all, pero parang, like, I think we should, like, celebrate it. But I just, I think I have to be, cre- get creative. So if any of the moms or dads out there can give me tips on, I don't know, where to order stuff or how to do stuff here at home <laughs> to, to make it feel like a special day. Ikaw, Rona, what did you do? Yeah, um, well, we celebrated my second child's birthday in May. So here at home. Um, and we did a Zoom party. Oh. Which um, we asked, which is kind of crazy. I don't know also why I did it. Because to get like five-year-olds in a Zoom call, like, Ten five year olds in a Zoom call. Parang ang ingay sobra, and it was like, who's gonna talk? And like, and they haven't seen each other in a long time, right? So they they were really all chatty, and I had to kind of raise my voice and be like, okay, we're gonna sing now, or okay, uh, we're gonna do this now. But I kept my expectations really low, so um, we just sang a birthday song and we prayed for my son, and then that was it. Because we were on a free Zoom account. Yeah. So I only really had 40 minutes, right? Aww. Uh, and so, yeah, I think favorite food is always key. Yes. Yeah. So we also just sent like McDonald's to all his friends. And oh. they ate it at their own time. Na lang. Parang, parang that's, yeah, that's what we did. We just ate fast food. <laughs> that's a good idea. Except yeah. for our friend si Vito. It's <laughs> a family. Oh. <laughs> yes, family. You can invite I, your. I do have a suggestion, Sab. Yeah. I did this for my. Yeah, for both of them on their first birthday. You know the smash cake. Ah, yung para kakain na lang. Anyway, yeah. So you just since um, and they'll he'll have fun eh, pounding the cake and then the icing okay. will be all over him. So yes, if okay. um, okay, okay. Yeah, smash cake, that's fun. And super cute, picture-worthy moment. And I'll bake it myself. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Yay. Okay. And then my plan was uh, to cook steak, but <laughs> he doesn't eat that. Um, <laughs> Good for you. But what I wanted, because it was like for his first birthday, oh, you tried pizza for the first time, or you tried yeah. cake. But sab- actually. The first birthday of both my kids was the first time they tried cake. That's why we had the smash cake. Mm. Prior to that, they were they weren't allowed like sweets or cakes. Ganon. Yeah. So the red so kasi nung smina, syempre, nilagay na sa bibig. Yeah. Yeah. Sige, sige. Gawin kong super organic na ano. Walang yeah. sugar at all. <laughs> 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 Tapos may screen sa loob. <laughs> na joke lang. Sure, ano, this is your welcoming into screen time. <laughs> okay. That's something that, ano, I think that's also something we could probably also hear from viewers or like if you're, um, if you are, chef, of course, in the group. Um, I know a lot of parents are asking about that. How are we going to celebrate our kids' birthday? So I'm going to watch what SAP does. So that I'm I- sure. <laughs> <laughs> also, for my son's first birthday in October. Okay, oh. number four. Um, it's I've been winging parenting a little bit more. I don't know if winging is a term for you guys uh, when you say when you when it comes to parenting. Because again, um, Jim and Sab, your your kids are so small now. They're they're still really young. So the stage that they're in is really more like the they're, keep them alive. Yeah, <laughs> I love that stage. <laughs> ah, so true. <laughs> and how about you, Bianca? How would you describe the stage of what? Well, Magkaiba, because you have a four-year-old and you have a one-year-old. So the one-year-old classifies into the keep them alive <laughs> category. 
How about yeah. your the four year old kasi ano na yan, preschooler eh. So definitely I relate to the winging it um in terms of um school at home. Kasi okay. the her school year is still starting next week actually. But this whole time in quarantine, I never stop. Like our schedule is really between 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. Um, you do some, you do school. So we really dress up. We have our table. We do, we do lang naman um, um, educational sites online. So she's on a tablet, um, doing either English or math. And then sometimes we have art class, which we enrolled online, and reading class, which we enrolled online. So parang I just wanted to keep her in school. Para hindi ako mahirapan when school starts na okay every day you have school so I wanted to to do that pero madalas kami kami lang so definitely yon I was winging it the whole time galeng no kasi I actually I think vested interest yun yun sab na parang I know that if I didn't do school all this time mm. if I suddenly have to explain okay September you're starting school it will be harder it will yeah. be para It'll be a struggle every morning because yeah. hindi pa part of routine, yeah. yeah. So you were breaking her into school is gonna start or there's going to be this new like aspect of your day. Yes, but she used to, kasi she used to go to um like you know those play schools yeah. physically pre pre quarantine. So she used to go to that talaga. But when suddenly it was quarantine. I explained to her that we still were gonna do school at home. So that was also our screen time because the educational site is on a screen. Yeah. Yeah. So she, yeah. missed, she missed going to physical school. Like, how did you explain to her that she's not going to a physical school right now? I don't know if she misses it because my daughter is very shy. Very, yeah. very shy. Um, but she understood it right away. I remember at the start of the quarantine, we made her watch, again, screen time, sorry. But we made her watch this video that explained what the coronavirus was way back in March. So, noon pa lang, she had that idea that we can't go outside. It, she got it quite easily, naman, so it wasn't a problem. And now, she has just one hour a day for school. Yes. Yeah. So, I guess that's also a little different for... Um, and I know that's something a lot of you parents who are in the group um, are also kind of trying to navigate, right? Yeah. How do we do school, keep my day job, stay sane, <laughs> and all of that all together, right? I know, like, Sab, you're at there, right? How many kids are doing school at home? <clears throat> she has four kids. One is entering first grade. First grade ba or preschool? But I just found out, I think this morning, she shared na her um, son's schedule is 5.30 to 7.30 p.m. Because it's a schedule for working parents. So I ko, what? What is he going to be studying at 5.30 p.m.? I ko, why is it so late? I don't know. That's kasi daw sh- because he wouldn't focus daw kung hindi siya kasama. Uh, the parent. Yeah, the, pa- the, yeah, the parent. Kung hindi kasama. Parang... Uh, he doesn't. Uh, parang I don't know. Parang may ganong factor. So well, they're gonna try it out. I, it's a no. Eh, it's from an exclusive boys school. Yung wh- wh- where he's going. So I don't know. We'll see if that can work. Pero kawawa no. Like he should be like getting ready for bed. Yeah. How old again? Sorry. Pretty old. No? He's not what? old. Not he's six late. years old. That's, that's yeah, grade one. I mean, seven thirty. You're supposed to be like you know. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> getting ready for bed. Yeah. Okay. But, but that's a amazing schedule option na ganon for working parents. Yeah, at least may ganon. Yeah. Yeah. How about you guys have routines for your kids? Sorry, off topic, but <laughs> something we can talk about. You guys have routines for your kids, like what time they have to go to bed, what time they wake up in the morning. Yeah. Even at the age of um, Pancho and Pito, I was yeah. Kasi. Yeah. We, uh, kami, uh, at, 5.30, they take a bath na. And then, si Vito, especially, like, around 6, he we we take him na to, we tell him, we, we're gonna take you to a dark and quiet room now. Because <laughs> by that time, he's, like, gonna fall asleep na. He understands that's the, that's bedtime. And si Pancho um, sleeps mga 7 o'clock. I think, that's yung okay, so Sam, early. at least, um, Sam, you know, Vito can, can only sleep with me. 
or he sleeps faster if I carry him. And then Sam, a uh, banjo can sleep when it's Sam carrying mm. him. Oh. Pero, yeah, so I mean, like, right Wait, balik that. Even if you feed, I mean, Sam, even if you still feed yeah. Vito, mas nakakatulog siya with Jim. Faster, faster with Jim. Yeah. I think, like, he's, like, smelling my milk and, like, getting uh-huh. so hyper. <laughs> Ganun na naman ang umpisa, eh. I think, see, with, with Pancho, yeah. like, I before, like, I as soon as Sam gives him, as in, like, makakatulog siya. And I was always proud of that. Kasi, like, yay, this is my thing. I'm the sleep machine. Yeah. Ganyan. Um, You're the sleep whisperer, tama ba? <laughs> sleep uh, machine. Sleep machine. <laughs> so, but I think in terms of schedule, yung swerte sa amin, they have two naps pa during the day. So, we pretty much schedule our day around the naps. Yeah. So, it's they have a 9.30 in the morning nap and they have a 1.30. 1:30. So, all, ako, lahat ng meeting ko, lahat ng yeah. if I wanna work out, <laughs> Uh, schedule around those times, the napping times. Yeah, I think as I, th- I think as uh, no no work at home parents, a lot of parents do that. They schedule talaga around their kids' nap times. Yeah. <laughs> if you're yes. flexible, you can be flexible. Yeah. Or when they're asleep at night, and then if you need like a really long stretch of time to work, diba? Yung, I don't know, Bianca. This is I think I've heard Bianca has done this. When the when your girls are asleep, you're able to pursue what you want to do, which is online classes. Fuck, <laughs> Bianca, you're crazy. Yeah. Balik tad kami ni Sab. Si Sab said um, she wakes up earlier. Yeah. Ako naman, I'd rather sleep late, have my me time. So when everyone's asleep na. Chine check ko pa kasi di ba gumagalaw galaw pa yung mayan check ko pa and then I check my husband like nakatulog na den while watching Netflix ganyan. That is when I creep down to get snacks from the pantry and then I'm totally gonna do my online class while enjoying snacks for my me time. Ah, so I'm just thinking about that. Saya saya. Hey parents, I'm like, like so excited to go back into class in the middle of the night. <laughs> I think. For, for a lot, it's also the time that they get to watch. Ako, I, that's what I've done. I'm gonna confess, and it's totally not on the script, that uh, when when uh, Stranger Things came out, like the very first season of Stranger Things, so my kids were a lot younger, and obviously the graph, like you know, the way Stranger Things looks, diba? Parang you don't want your toddlers running around, and there's like a monster on the screen, right? <laughs> So, mga for three days, I forced them not to nap, so that at night I could binge watch Stranger Things. Wow! <laughs> for three days. Wait, so they would sleep earlier? Yeah, they would sleep earlier. Tapos ko, de ba? Kasi nga no nap. Parang ano yung 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 ano talaga? Bukas na talaga sila magigising. <laughs> that is a parent hack right there. I'm not so sure if I'm proud of it, but it's out there. Um, oh, <laughs> and I didn't do it without uh, my husband not knowing. In fact, he told me we watched Stranger Things together. So if anything, I was really just building my marriage. <laughs> I made excuses, Pano, but. Um, yeah, that's how I watch uh, violence or uh, <laughs> sci-fi for for us. Okay, um, number five, a little bit serious, uh, but I don't know. Maybe this is something that you've experienced, especially as personalities and people who have their you know you are able to share with other people your family life, a bit of your personal life. Is I've been judged for my decisions as a parent. Has that I don't know. Is is that like a for sure. I'm sure. <laughs> like online. I mean, I'm sure that's something that's sobrang normal if you're if you put your life online, diba? That's just you have to accept it. Right? Was it hard? It's hard. Yeah. Like when when it first happened to you, how did you guys deal with it? Kayo Sab. Uh, ako for me, uh, because I'm I'm again it's it's Sab who's the man the the, the like the famous personality, but even on my feed, like uh, I was shocked. Like, May nag-dad shame sa you. Wala na wala pa nang dad shame, but um, I just I told Sab this. Eh. Sabi ko grabe Sab. Sabi ko ang brutal pala ng 
ang toxic ko na ng mother um, world. Yeah. Like, parang, uh, I remember, like, um, someone commented, like, very, ano, parang, ano yun? Like, some concerning stuff about, let's say, Vito, the way he sits. Pero again, uh, uh, without context naman, na uh, he just sat for a ng quick bilis time. ng quick time na W sitting parang ganoon so mm-hmm. pero yun yung picture so anyway ako for, just I, I just want to share like it's just hard to put a disclaimer with every photo you know it's like <laughs> pero siguro ako the way I, I managed it lang naman is and I think the way dati pa naman kasi sab kay sab naman in fairness naman kasi kay sab yung mga followers niya like super smart and uh, they're nice nice kids <laughs> but nice. anyway like um, I'm just glad that we have grandparents um, who are not like those people. I mean, our mm. grand, the grandparents, our in-laws, mm. uh, they're they're very supportive of our decisions, and you know. So, at the end of the day, they're the voices that matter. So, even if it, it's very different from theirs, no? Yeah, even though it's very different, like yung my dad was like. Ilang beses ko na sinabi sa dad, dad ko na, eh, Ay, naku, ako, isa pa ah, yun. Ko, ako, I can't watch <laughs> stuff with my kids. So, oh, ikaw, you can. Pero he's, uh, he was Lolo, watching, he was watching Friends. With... He was watching Patriot Games, uh, Harrison Ford with Vito. And <laughs> so, anyway, um, yun, ako, that's, that's how. I, so, it doesn't bother me because, yeah. 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 How about you, Sab? Did it ever oh. bother you? Like, was there a time that it did? And- yeah, it's it's a no. It, it at, especially at the start, no, because parang whoa, like I didn't know it was gonna be this way. Pero kumare, like for the longest time, I'm I've been a breastfeeding advocate. Like mm-hmm. I really promote breastfeeding. I think you know my followers know that. But then I posted a photo that kind of went viral of um, me giving my breast milk in a bottle because I was at a wedding. Pancho. So, you know, I was at the wedding, I pumped beforehand, put it in the bottle, and then I was feeding him. Yeah. And then it, it went viral. And then, so there, you mga hindi ko naman followers palagi. Yun. I mean, hindi kasi sila long time followers. So, hindi na intendehan. So, they're like super shaming me about using a bottle. So, <laughs> parang, ah, uh, na, na stress ako, but also, like, I don't know. I just, I just really try to see it as oh, it's coming from a place of concern. Mm-hmm. Even if they're not delivering it the way I would like to hear it, yeah. I'm sure. Like I always try to give them the benefit of the doubt, para hindi ako matrigger and magreact ako with like angry words. So yeah. when it comes, I don't know. How about when it comes to like people clo- like around you, people who's because diba, there's a difference of like. Uh, what you read in the comments, um, especially if you're a personality, and there's a difference between there's a difference between that and um, what you hear from people you actually respect. Uh, yeah, from people you respect and whom you actually love, right? Mm. And you would listen more to that. Mm. Has there ever been a time or wala naman na? Well, Kanina, you said that your parents actually are okay with how you're raising your children differently from um, how we were raised. So there's never been a time that you've had to kind of defend or kind of share why you made such decision. I'm sure, Meron. I can't remember right now. How about you, Bianca? Is it something that you? I don't... Yeah, I totally agree with Sab that I am the same. I even if they say it in such a mean-spirited way, the judgment, I try to think that ah, at least concerned she. So it's more. May pakialam siya sa akin rather than wala kasi they cared enough to comment. But ano eh, I think when you work in the public sphere, um, meaning I've been getting bashed like years. Yeah. Same as with the sub working in the public sphere, right? Mm-hmm. So it was just natural that when we got married, may nagbash about whatever. When you got pregnant, that's where it starts. I remember I posted because um, I was working up till like nine months when I was pregnant, um, and I would post pictures at work, and then the comments would always be, um, "Miss Biaka, no heels na po. Miss Biaka, no necklace, kasi matatanggal daw yung umbilical cord." So all these paniniwalas, and then 
you know, you try to explain, like, for example, the wearing heels. I only wear it when I'm on stage and standing, not walking. Mm-hmm. Um, and then I take it out after. Things like that. Parang, um, I knew that it was gonna come naman talaga, all the judgments. And it gets even worse when, when, you, you, when you give birth. Like, ma'am, no fly-fly. Diba, hilig na mga, like, my husband loves making the baby fly-fly. Um, uh, ma'am, ma'am don't, uh, oh, walang fly-fly kasi maaalog yung... So all these things, and I, I always try to... Um, say masab nga. I know that it's coming from a place of concern. Um, and iba lang yung pagkasabi siguro. And that goes for everyone now. Kasi everyone now, of course, as a parent, you just sometimes want to share um, a picture of your child, di ba? Parang ito sa moment that you wanted to share. So once uh, every parent watching this here on this private group or to parents to be, when you post anything about your child you are opening the floodgates to any and all kinds of comments and wala that 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 comes with it and uh, um hindi kasi choice ng children natin na i-post natin sila eh. yeah. right they have zero say in that and so um yeah it's kanya kanya talaga like some parents um love sharing everything about their children and some parents are more um, private. So, I- iba-iba, kanya-kanya talaga. Yeah. Ako, honestly, I have to stop myself because I have so much videos and photos and sobrang cute. And then I, ha- I always have to be like, okay, relax. Like, you know, but I know it will make a lot of people happy, pero parang, I want to like, there's a video of um, Vito, sobrang cute na nagtatantrum <laughs> Super screaming, he's so frustrated because he's so Oh, it's so funny, but I didn't want to post it because, parang, when he grows up and then he's gonna see that, you know, I don't want him to be embarrassed. <laughs> same. That is my same um, guiding principle. Uh, yes. If yes. this, yeah. if my child is 18 and they see that video yeah. or that photo, um, especially mine, girls, I'm very careful yeah. that. Um, you know, even what they're wearing, what yeah, the stone. Uh, ano ako? Parang I don't want them to to Google themselves one day and like see na kung ano ano nang na share ko tungkol sa buhay nila. Yeah. So, but as long as they won't get embarrassed, tama. Yeah. Same kami ni Sam. Hmm. And they're gonna be the first generation, I think, of kids who will have to deal with that, right? Uh-oh. I mean, like, when they're our age, diba? If we're like the first generation of parents who are able to share our family lives online. Sila yung una na parang sinabi na po nung mommy at daddy ko sa buong mundo yung kwento ko. <laughs> Before oh, I could even say my story. Saka meron na silang Instagram account. Turned oh. over at 18. <laughs> and, anak, we saved the hashtag for you. <laughs> and, um, uh, and all of this. But we have a comment on when we were asking about screen time. I realized that's also probably true, like what Jim said. Your is it your dad who um who you had yeah. to talk about the screen time with? But PB Cat says, as much as I wanted to keep my kids on a zero screen time, it's quite impossible. Lol. <laughs> it's actually their generation, and I guess they have to be informed at least once in a while. But kudos to Jim and Sab Sana all. This is like all a, talaga. You know, wow. saying, Sana all. Diba? No, just to clarify nga. They're like they're two and almost yeah. one, so I feel like they're not really missing out on like you know the the yung kung ano yung because I'm sure tired naman de ba when you were in grade school we would be talking to our classmates about aning napanood dance sa TV ng weekend de ba so ayo kana magkaroon ng ganon na parang hindi nara gets what's YouTube you know I, they they have to understand that someday but right now I feel like they're not missing out on anything. Okay. First of all, wala naman silang kausap. <laughs> Wala silang social life pa. <laughs> no, parang, Pero, yo, did you see the new, ano, the, the new app that dropped today? Yeah, but rest, I mean, uh-huh. I'm sure at some point, they will have to understand. Kasi tama, this is their world now. It's normal. They they will have screens in their lives. Ako, I think my, ano, for that is, um, I was guilty of, yung sometimes you, you let them watch while they're eating. Um. Yeah. No, no, no judgment. Yun. <laughs> when we travel, well, pre quarantine, when we traveled, for sure. For sure. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Or on the plane. Like on the yeah. plane, no? Feeling ko, I would have done that also. 
Yeah, as in, ako rin naman eh. I mean, even even before we had babies and we'd be at a restaurant, um, siguro naman there are some cases, pero like, kung we'd be at a restaurant, I'd never be like, grabe those parents, why are those kids just on their iPads? Because they're like, what am I, I'm just, I was just imagining. That's better like, than their screaming. It's like, what if it's me and, you know, what if Sab and I are, you know, want to go on a romantic date and we can't and, you know, this is our chance. So, so again, kami, we buy all, I know, by you know, I'm pretty sure. Whatever works yeah. for you and yeah. the situation, the right? And that's something that we're really um, trying to um, show and promote, I guess, at Glow Parental Guidance is that it, what works for you might not work for me, and that's okay, right? It's, mm-hmm. I think that's what's also great about our generation of, of parents and parenting. We're much more accepting of like. Uh, your way, my way, their way. It doesn't. It, there's. It's. There's no cookie cutter when yeah. it comes to parenting. Uh, we have another comment from Aryan Munar. I think hey, I know Aryan. Yeah, hi Aryan. Yeah, Aryan. Yeah, I know everyone's winging it at the moment, and it's inspiring to see or hear how parents wing it, especially during this time. Even when I'm unsure of my parenting, whenever I hear my kid call me the best mom ever. Oh. 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 Have you heard that, Bianca? Has your daughter said anything like? Well, my toddler, um, she's almost five, so she's four. She's two months shy of five, and she has the sweetest. Um, I don't know where she got it. Uh, sometimes you know how you have such a busy day, and they see you, parang you know, jabbing on your laptop and like on your phone, nonstop calling people, whatever, on a meeting, sunod sunod, and they feel that energy, eh, diba? They feel that busy energy of their parent. Um, sh- she'll call me, mommy, mommy, yung kaganon, mommy, mommy, and you're like, what, Lucia? Yung parang mapapaganon oh. nila na there's a tone, and then she's like. I love you. Aww. She always does it because she knows na parang I she she would think na I feel like she's bothering me to do something for her, but she just catches my attention to yeah to parang <laughs> just hear her say I love you. It's the sweetest, sweetest, sweetest Aww. thing. So does that I make you feel terrible for snapping? Oh, 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 I super do. <laughs> Kaya whenever she does that, na I don't uh, say yung kasi yah, kasi I know she's gonna say Aww. love you. Tapos natuto na siyang gawin yun then. <laughs> cute. Yeah. Cute. cute. Okay, this is my last parenting confession for you before we play a super quick game with our commenters. Um, the last is I'm finding new ways to take better care of myself. I think quarantine has taught a lot of us to kind of pick up a hobby or pick up uh, something that you wanted to do but never found it. Oh, yes. What What's yours? I don't want to say it. I'll just say it. What's your name? I don't know. Well, I think... What's up again? Like, um, I, uh, this is the most um, books I've read in a certain oh, yeah. span of time. Uh, I've learned how to edit videos. Um, at the very start of the quarantine, I, I and to a fault, um, I think my way to to cope was I have to do something, I have to learn something every day. And again, that's why I say to a fault because um, I put too much pressure on myself. But anyway, um, yeah, I am. Yeah. Mm. Ako, uh, hindi kasing deep nun. <laughs> kung wari, like, <laughs> kung wari, uh, beauty routine at night. Siguro kasi parang after a long day of like, you're just running around, just pose, just napawis ka. So, medyo, pag yung nighttime bathroom ritual, parang sobrang haba. Ay, grabe, so, talagang, grabe. Uh, oh, sarap dalawa, maligo. Ang yung, yung bath time at night is like, <laughs> And the thing is, our heater has been broken yeah. for two months. We welcome the we cold. We, we, we don't want to get a repairman to come here. Pero as in talagang kahit 8 p.m. na, as in nanginginig ako sa cold water. But like, this is my time. This is me time. I'm enjoying this icy bath. Yeah. Kasi oras ko to. Oh, mag-raise ako ng hand. Sira rin yung heater namin. <laughs> <laughs> no summer okay lang, di ba? Yeah. Ang malamig na tubig. Ngayon parang ano na, my kids are begging me ni mom. Ayoko na ng malamig na paniligo. They're asking me oh. na to warm the waters. Mm. 
how about you, Bianca? Well, you mentioned earlier, not that you're doing online classes. I guess. Yeah, but that's okay. it. That's the only. I I did not raise my hand to that because no, I haven't found. Um. More time or more self-care practices during this quarantine? Um, no, not at all. So maybe that should be something on my list. Hindi sira yung heater namin, but. Nakakilala uh, <laughs> um, naman mong sirain para magkaroon ka ng ano? Ah, no! Appreciation. Oh God, <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Ay, oh, para you can love yourself, Labo. Yeah. <laughs> well, um... I, siguro my confession would be the exact opposite. Um, sometimes, sa sobrang tutok ka sa work and then when you're not working, you're with your kids. Sometimes, it's 8pm, hindi pa ako naliligo the whole day. That is my confession. Pero ngayon naligo ako, ha? Disclaimer <laughs> lang. But I was gonna say, I have, fresh mo, ha? <laughs> when I have no on-cam work, sometimes you forget because you're like in the computer and then if you're gonna eat lunch, play with kids, back to the computer, before I know it, I finished dinner and natako ligo kadire sobra. So um, balik na dako nung I need to show myself more um, yeah. more self care. All right. So we have three actual confessions from Bianca, Jim, and Sap, and we're asking you, our viewers, um, and all our members of the Globe Parental Guidance Facebook group, to type in which one you think um, which parent said which confession. Okay. So the first one. Is I feel like I'm a more natural career woman than I am a natural at being a mom. The struggle is real. So you can type A for Bianca, B for Jim, but I don't know why you would type <laughs> and C for Sam. And we're wrapping off uh, the, the same um, rated PG launch kit for um, the one who gets this right. Okay, so obviously I helped you, naha. Hindi po si Jim yung... I'm not the career woman. You're not a natural mom. <laughs> She's not a natural And then... Um, sorry, I think, you know what? I realized we can do the all the confessions. Then you can see it, right? Yes. Yes, okay. So the next one is... Some days, I look forward to their bedtime because we finally have... More time for ourselves. Alright. And then the third, of course, is... This is, uh, I think, all parents. The third one. <laughs> it's going to come up once the VTR rolls. <laughs> the third one is... Um, I can... Ayan, I pretended to have... To really go to the bathroom so I wouldn't have to change a dirty diaper. So this is Bianca, Jim, and Sab. Okay, but I can confess to that one. <laughs> so but for me, I think um, bedtime is for me. Is, I love bedtime, even if it like it kind of gets crazy. We're gonna let you send your comments or your answers. But bedtime for me is one of my favorite times of the day, even if all my kids are jumping up and down on our bed, and I'm half afraid that one of them is gonna. Like just kind of fall and hit their head. They love it too. They love just cuddling and 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 being together. Um, and definitely the struggle I think of working. Remember, you can't answer because if you answer, you're gonna give away who you are, right? So just pretend <laughs> that <laughs> that um that you can share. But that's that's I think that's something so real. When I got that confession from um the parents. <laughs> Uh, I, I feel like, I know, it's something that not a lot of women are able to say, verbalize, but they also really feel it. Um, do you have friends? Yeah, because it's not obvious who's who, diba? Do you have other friends who, you know, who feel that, who feel that that sort of, that push and pull of, of working and taking care of their kids and how to balance it all? I'm sure you always get asked that. How do you balance it all? Do you believe that there's a balance? Uh, well, uh, ako personally, like, that was my... <laughs> career mom. I can't yeah. career mom. <laughs> but, <laughs> but, <laughs> but, I, I mean, yeah, I just want to share lang rin na if, if ano rin, I actually um, can relate to that because this is the first time na, ano, be, before I 
I was always proud of the fact na okay, I own my own business, so I still dedicate a lot of time to the boys. Pero grabe, comparing what that was before, dati, three times a week, I'd be out of the house. And, you know, but I always made sure I'd give them a bath and all these things. Pero now, especially at the start, grabe yung guilt talaga. As in, um, that's really what I super struggled with. As in, kware, I, I, I'm working. It's so, I don't know, hindi focus because like, I just have to finish this because I can hear them. They're awake now. Mm. You know? And again, yun nga, they're at a young age pa eh. So, um, yun, that's really where I struggled and, you know, Sab had to really, and Sab was an amazing partner in a man telling me like, in comforting me na, you're not a bad person. You're yeah. not a bad father because you're working. Yeah. Yun, I, I really had to go through that and it was really hard. It's still hard. I think that's something that um, we have to tell ourselves every day. I, one of the things I, I remember um, from a working mom that I really admire. Um, I think you know her, Risa. Oh wait, yeah, you should know her, Risa Manangkil. Oh yeah. Of course. Um, she said, um, we also have to set the example for our children, right? Like the, the value of working hard or the value of discipline or, you know, showing up even if you don't want to. Of course, at two and a half and at one, barang, that's kind of <laughs> past their head, right? But, <laughs> but uh, I'm sure that that's something that they will, you know, that they're going to um, look back at and, and love and appreciate that their parents modeled discipline and their parents modeled working hard. And we actually have um, people who have gotten things right, okay? They've gotten everything right. So from the first, so who's the first? You can reveal yourself. The first confession was the career woman, <laughs> not a natural mother. Yes, not Jim. Yeah. <laughs> of course, it's Bianca. Yes, that's me. Oh. Uh, you want to share a little bit about that? Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Um. Mother, you know how they say na parang when you become a mom, the maternal instincts will kick in and like it will seem so natural. Oh my gosh, it was never like that for me, never. Parang um, I, I I said nga na parang I feel like I'm more a natural career woman just because at work I kind of know what to do, I know how to do my job, um, um. And all these things, but as a mom, I always feel like, wow, it's such a. I'm, I'm trying hard as a mom. I mean, literally, yung term na trying hard, di ba? I'm trying hard mo, di ba? Ganon. That's what I feel about myself as a mom. I feel like I'm super trying hard to be a mom. I'm not like those um, ones na effortless, na parang. You know how the first few months of having your first child. Um, there are so many. Um, I, I saw so many posts na parang the best the best one month of my life or like uh, <laughs> and I was like why wasn't I feeling like it was the best one month of my life I feel so traumatized I'm exhausted <laughs> so until now I feel that way I mean I sort of learned things along the way after two kids but I still feel like it doesn't come naturally to me there are moments na you feel like you win because you get your kid or what they want but uh, more often than not I really feel like wow I'm trying so hard to do my best at this job and uh, the the thing or like the advice that helped me with that is uh, I think I shared this in a live we had before for Globe Sab na, uh, somebody shared a comment with me that um, uh, God knew exactly the mother your child needed even before she was born so when I read that comment on a post I had before. I was like, oh, okay, Aww. I'm exactly what she needs. Yeah, so Aww. there. And she says you're the, she loves you, diba? Right? Yeah, oh. super sweet, sweet. So sweet, yeah. Hey, Lucia, so cute. Yeah. I can't wait till, till Pacho can actually say <laughs> and converse Aww. with you guys. You'll have so much fun. And it's different with boys, I guess, also. Parang iba yung how they're they share how sweet they are or parang yung cariño nila is a little different also. But the second, the second confession is, yeah, some days I look forward to their bedtime. This is, Sab! Yes! 
do you guys do anything in particular? Like um like uh do you read before bed? Uh, kami ni Jim uh for the past telang weeks now we've been doing his and her choice of movies because we love movies talaga. So parang okay your choice and then my choice this what whenever we watch a movie we do that and then that's we do that over dinner and then yun parang mina maximize naman yung dinner time and then watching the movie and then uh, when we get to bed that's when we well Jim actually nakakatawa kasi before I became a mom I read a lot now parang yung reading ko is just all like parenting stuff and then I'm just I see Jim. He's like going through. You weren't a reader before. Not this. Not, time, yeah. Not this much. He's always reading a book to bed, and then ako, I feel so ashamed because I'm just watching my trashy reality shows, like super, on, <laughs> super low volume, in bed, like trying to catch up on. St- uh, parang pang ilang season na ako ng Real Housewives of Beverly Hills and Below Deck and uh, Selling Sunset. Dame and dame. <laughs> Yeah. So of course, the last confession is obviously Jim. Because nga, malamang obvious naman. No? So pretend to go to the bathroom so we don't have to change a dirty diaper. Um, <laughs> I feel you, Jim. And I have to say that now that when we're on our third kid, parang ano na siya, parang ping pong na siya sa amin ng hospital. Parang, <laughs> uh, somebody <laughs> needs to change a diaper again. So, Nagtuturoan na kami. Mm. Ikaw na dyan, ikaw na dyan. So, <laughs> Thank you to um, Therese who got everything right. We're gonna send you our um, a little prize and a little something that you can enjoy. And thank you, of course, to Bianca, Jim, and Sab for joining us here at Globe Parental Guidance. That wraps up our rated PG and our confessions. Thank you so much for um, being honest and sharing with us, you know, just what it's like to be parents these days and um, all your different experiences. We hope that. Um, and actually, no. I know that our viewers probably got so much from just what you're doing and knowing that uh, we can all do parenting differently. There's no judgments. Uh, so for more tips, ideas, and parenting honesty, you can follow us on Instagram at Globe Parental Guidance.